Welcome back to the X-Plane Scenery Development Series here on YouTube. In today's video, we'll be going over projecting textures in SketchUp. So here we are back in SketchUp with the same model that we've been using thus far along in the series, and we've made a couple changes. Uh, the first thing is we got rid of the texturing on the airport tech sign, and the other is we've added these two new half circles to the, uh, the side of the building here. Now, the first thing we're going to go over is how to quickly and easily texture these curved surfaces on these two half circles on the side of the building. After that, we'll discuss some issues that people run into often when using projected textures, especially with curved surfaces. And then I'll show you, using the airport tech sign, how to quickly texture all of the different surfaces all at one time. Now, the way to think about projected textures is it's much like what you would imagine would happen if you uh, use a, uh, a movie or a home TV projector. So whatever our texture is would be the image that we're uh, shining through the projector and our surface is uh, the wall that essentially we're projecting it onto. And I can kind of demonstrate that quickly. So what I've got here is this surface is projected and this surface is not projected. If we right click and look at the texture context menu, you can see that we've got the projected option selected. So let's get our paint bucket out and we'll go ahead and sample this and throw it onto this curved surface. And now we'll do the same for the non-projected wall. And you can see here there's a bit of difference in how these two uh, are displaying on this surface. Let's go and do the top as well, just so you can get an idea of how that would look. So we'll again sample from these two different sources. As you can see on the half circle on the left, it's doing what we would expect it to do. It's extending that texture uh, like we kind of discussed in our first video in this series. But the one on the right, what it's actually doing is it's it's warping it and it's stretching it and uh, it's making it look again like it would if you were projecting this onto the surface. So the question is, when do you use projected versus non-projected textures? As you move along in your SketchUp development, you'll start to figure that out on your own and there's no real hard and fast rule one way or the other. It depends entirely on whatever the model is that you're trying to texture and the textures that you have and how you have those textures set up. But I promise you that when you get into that situation, you'll quickly understand which is more appropriate. Like in this instance, um, I would probably say that the one over here on this corner is more appropriate than the one over here because this one is obviously stretching a bit too much and it doesn't look like it matches the rest of the glass window panes. So in this situation, again, uh, the non-projected would probably be the most appropriate option. Now it, it's definitely worth noting that SketchUp sometimes struggles a little bit with projected textures. And for that, uh, we'll go back over here to this uh, little piece that I made. It's actually from another model that I did. It's from a, a control tower. And I will, again, sample that projected texture from this wall. And we'll go ahead and paint this, uh, this ring. And as you can see, it's almost correct. Um, you know, it, it, we've got the stretching and, and things like that. Again, that's a, a judgment call depending on what you're doing. But we have this little bit right here that for some reason isn't textured. This is probably the most common thing that happens when you're trying to uh, use a projected texture on curved surfaces. And there's no logical reason for this to happen. Again, this is just one of those quirks of SketchUp, but it's a fairly simple fix. All you have to do is go right beside it on either side and again, use a sample tool. We'll sample right next to it and then we'll paint it over and it works perfectly fine. In some different models, uh, when you're dealing with a lot of curved faces, you might have this happen more than once. Um, there, there'll be more than just the, the one section here that has this issue. Um, you might have many of them. And uh, SketchUp sometimes likes to play this little game where uh, when you fill one in, so for instance, we fill this in, another section over here might now uh, not have the new texture that we want, but instead the old texture. So we'll just keep repeating that process of sampling next to it and pasting it on until all of them are cleared. And sometimes it's like chasing a rabbit down a rabbit hole. You have to keep going and going around in circles. Sometimes you'll have to do the same area more than one time, but that's just how SketchUp works. Let's take a quick look now at how we can use projected textures to quickly texture uh, a lot of surfaces all at one time. All right, so we're back here at our airport tech sign on the side of the building. And what I've done is I've made a square that is slightly larger than our sign. And it's, it's actually lined up um, with the sign. So I'll show you real fast. Um, as you can see, it, it sort of covers the whole area where we've got that sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go down um, 
and make sure that this is projected. And sometimes when you take a texture that's not projected and turn it into a projected texture, um, this may for some reason uh, start to look like this. It basically kind of offsets the, uh, the area that you had selected for the texturing. If that's the case, uh, there's kind of a weird hacky work around. What that is is um, before you turn it to a projected texture, you sample uh, a couple times. I'm not really sure why. So Alt and then left click, left click, uh, click left click again. And uh, if you then repaint it and then go down and do texture projected, uh, for some reason that will keep it uh, wherever you had it pinned out and make it a projected texture. Again, it's kind of weird, but it's just one of those things that you have to deal with when you're using SketchUp. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it, it arguably is easier than learning Blender. Okay, so now that we've got the texture projected uh, and we know that it's covering the area that we need to cover, again, imagine this is just shining um, at, like a TV projector onto the airport tech sign. Uh, it would, in this case, cover the entirety of it. And so what we're gonna do is, I, I've actually got this in a group um, this airport tech sign is grouped up, which we will go over in another video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample over here our projected texture. I'm going to double click into our group and use Control A to select all. We'll zoom in here a little bit and we'll just paint. And there you go. You've got the whole thing is all textured at one time, nice and easy. If you don't use a projected texture, sometimes uh, parts of the, the sign will, for whatever reason, take on a, a different uh, the area of the texture that we're using. So that's why it's always preferable to use a projected texture when painting something like this with a texture. To give a demo of that, so I'll go back here and do uh, a non-projected texture and we'll resample it. We'll go back and we'll select everything in our sign and we will re-texture it. And as you can see right here, we've got uh, areas that are not textured or they are textured in a, a kind of a weird way. And this comes back to uh, the trick I was showing you with the, the part of the air traffic control tower. In this situation, um, all you would do is, while well, still keeping everything selected, um, sample, repaste, repaste. And you saw there for a second that uh, it got a little extra wonky. Um, that's fine. Again, you just have to keep going down that hole. And now it's going to be really difficult. <laughs> and yep, there's our problem. So. Uh, again, if you if you use a uh, projected texture, you can kind of avoid some of the headache that comes with this and uh, the oddities of SketchUp that crop up. I realize that for a lot of you that were coming here and looking for a quick and easy way of doing projected textures and see how to do it the right way, uh, the simple, fast way, might be a little bit disappointed um, in SketchUp's issues with projected textures and texturing curved surfaces. Um, but I hope that the, the tips and tricks I showed you can alleviate a little bit of your frustration. In our next video, we'll be covering model optimization. So that is making uh, SketchUp models work as well as possible in X-Plane. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.